Hello ladies and gentlemen this is your chef from groovescooking.in with masala for masala dosa please make a note of the ingredients friends in this video i'll be only demonstrating to you how to make the masala that is the filling for the masala dosa but if you want to make the dosa as well you can click on the link at the top that appears to learn how to make dosa We'll begin by soaking chana dal. This is one tablespoon of chana dal that I've soaked in lukewarm water for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. We'll discard the water and we'll retrieve the chana dal. We'll keep this aside for later use. It's time for us to boil potatoes. We don't need this large potato. We need potatoes that are this size. Medium sized seven potatoes is what we'll be taking, friends, and. This size potatoes boil faster. We'll boil them in a pressure cooker by adding water. This water that you add should not be more. It should only be as much as to submerge the potatoes. That is enough. We'll put the lid and put on the flame to high and wait for four whistles. Once we receive four whistles, we'll put off the flame and wait for the steam to escape for five to ten minutes, and then we'll release the lid, peel the potato skins, and then extract the potatoes like this. It's time for us now to mash these potatoes. Make sure your hands are clean and your nails are cut. Now you don't need to mash the potatoes completely to be fine. You just need to make them slightly coarse. So a few. big chunks of potatoes here and there are good take a cooking pot in which there is 4 tablespoons of oil when it is hot you add mustard seeds when the mustard seeds crackle you'll be adding in a quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida please make sure you're cooking at a low flame and now you'll be adding in ginger this is half a tablespoon of finely chopped fresh ginger and we'll continue the tempering process we'll add that chana dal that we had soaked remember saute this for a minute We will now add onions that have been finely sliced into thin slices and juliennes like these. You can now increase the flame from low to medium and then cook this for around a minute. If you want to cook the onions at a faster pace, then you can add salt at this period. So I'll add 1 teaspoon of salt. What the salt does is it emancipates the process of releasing water from the onions and they cook slightly faster than before. So we'll cook this for another minute or two. It's been around 2 minutes in all since I've been cooking the onions. You can now lower the flame because we'll be adding a few spices and herbs. To begin with a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi and 1 teaspoon of red chili powder please reduce the flame because you will burn the spices and the herbs otherwise now continue the saute process and cook this until the onions turn translucent that will take around a minute from now
it's now time for us to add the boiled potatoes which have been mashed coarsely. From now till the end you will be cooking only at a low flame. So mix up everything gently. Make sure you incorporate all that golden color of the turmeric on top of these potatoes and make them golden as well. So we'll cook this for around a maximum of 2-3 to three minutes because the potatoes have already been par boiled. I'm sorry, not par boiled. They are completely boiled. So we'll cook this for around 2-3 to three minutes because the potatoes, like I said, are already boiled and in between we'll add a little water. This is a quarter cup of water. Water is being added because if you have if you have been to South India, the way they cook potatoes there, they always make it a slightly moist and slightly soften. They're not very hard in taste. Or when you touch them, they are gluey and you enjoy them with the dosa. So crunchy dosa and soft potatoes is an amazing combination that goes into the cold cold chutney and hot sambal. Mm, yum, yes. Alright friends, it's ready. Enjoy it. You can also join my WhatsApp group by putting a message onto this number and win exciting gifts each month from Amazon and Flipkart. Please make a note of the cooking instructions. If you have any queries for me, please post them down in the comment section below. And like I said, this was only the masala recipe for the masala dosa. I have also posted many dosa recipes which you can look through in my channel on YouTube. Do subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't friends and do like my video if you loved my work. Thank you so much.